What's going on guys? So today we're out here at Blue Compass RV in Corpus Christi, Texas. But we're going to be taking a look at this brand new Crossroads Longhorn travel trailer. Stick and tin unit, very long unit. And we're going to see what this thing's all about. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Let's start by taking a look at the numbers of this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,210 pounds. This thing's pretty heavy. It's going to have a dry weight of 8,480 pounds, and it's going to have a cargo capacity of 2,690 pounds. Definitely three-quarter ton towable. I would not put this behind a half-ton truck. I'm at least a three-quarter ton with the right specs. You always want to make sure you have the right numbers for everything. And guys, by the way, I don't work for the dealership. I come out here and just kind of film RVs so I can give you my opinion of them. So, you know, all the folks that email me constantly asking me if we still have RVs for sale, um, I don't sell RVs. I just come out here as an independent reviewer, journalist, and I come and show you what I'm looking at. All right, we're gonna take a look inside of this Longhorn, then we'll come back out and see what the outside's all about. All right, more rides. Or actually, this has the Lippert Solid Steps on it. This is gonna be the 340 MB. All right, let's see what's going on in here. So, you get greeted with the hallway. Wow, this is actually pretty nice. This is pretty impressive. You can definitely tell the Texas theme going on here from the glass to the sofa uh, cushions. They already have the dinette in its bunk position. So basically you lift the table up and you have a wraparound dinette here, which is really nice. You have some nice trim work done at the top to stand out, plus the little Texas star right there. Lone star. All right, let's see what the price is on this unit. $66,230 MSRP, which means the sale price on this unit is going to be significantly lower than that. Let me put the star here as well on the poles. Nice pantry space. Got a Furion. This is a 12 volt Furion refrigerator freezer. Then you have the freezer above. Three burner Furion cooktop. High point compact microwave. You have a nice glass cabinetry here. This thing is Texas themed all the way. Has a nice thermofoil countertop. Full extension slide out drawers. Storage everywhere. And on this side, if you have some bar stools, you got a cool little bar area right here. Dual basin stainless steel sink. Nice upgraded sprayer here as well. You got storage underneath your, your dinette here as well on each side. All right, so over here you have two recliners. Very nice, and they both can move independently of each other. Over here, this folds out into a bed, and it's a pretty good size sofa, so you're probably going to get at least a queen size bed out of it. They have pleated blinds here. Nice valances going all the way around. Again, Texas themed. Storage underneath. You have your Connex TV right here. Panoramic fireplace. More storage above. Ceiling height in here is probably, shoot, probably six, seven. You could be relatively tall in this unit. You have an AC unit here. I'm sure there's probably gonna be one in the bedroom as well. All right. And then you have an on-demand water heater. That's really nice. So this is a mid bunk. Wow, so I was not expecting this. Um, this is a big shock to me. I, I, I'm totally kind of floored by this. I thought this would be the bathroom. So this is a mid-bunk unit in a travel trailer. You do not see a lot of those. That is really, really cool. Um, probably the first I've seen in this type of travel trailer. And that's a big deal because mid-bunks are pretty common in fifth wheels. You just never see them in travel trailers. So I was not expecting to see this space. This is really, really cool. I almost would have thought maybe a half bath, but yeah, very, very cool to see in here. Then you got some wardrobe storage right here. Spot to mount your TV, power and cable for it. That's cool. I Again, wow, that kind of blows me away. If you're looking for a mid bunk travel trailer, well, here's your floor plan. You have all of your controls right here. Good size bathroom. So this is a porcelain foot flush toilet. I wasn't expecting that either. Um, you got a good size cornered shower and it actually is a good size cornered shower. Got a good amount of room in there. A lot of storage in here. This RV is loaded with surprises. Now I'm not gonna consider this to be like a super high-end luxury RV. This is definitely more of you know your traditional travel trailer, but 
totally Texased out. That said, though, it's got some really great things about it space-wise that you typically don't see in travel trailers. Again, another great reason to tow this with the right vehicle. I actually modify my towing suggestion to a three-quarter ton long bed, like an eight, eight and a half foot bed. It gives you more stability control against sway. Medicine cabinet up here, plastic sink, got more storage beneath it. And then your second entry exit into the bedroom. So this is a queen size bed, a lot of room on each side, kind of cool contrasting tone right here with the decorative wall board for the headboard area. Over here, you're gonna have more storage for wardrobe stuff. Um, you got your plugs right here, good spot for CPAP if you need that. And you can move around the bed very freely, which is also nice. More space here. This is cool and you have your second AC so you can freeze yourself out in the bedroom if you want to. But I'm still kind of fixated on that mid bunk because you just never see mid bunks in something like this. Especially in a rear living room design. This is like a, a mid bunk fifth wheel pretty much. It's probably the same size to be honest. That is crazy. All right, let's step outside and see what the outside's all about. You know, when I saw the model number 340MB, I should have just assumed mid bunk. Front power tongue jack, spot for two 20 pound propane cans, spot for two batteries. This thing is absolutely enormously long now that I think about what's in there. Huge pass through storage. This is a stick and tin unit, which means it's going to have a wood sidewall construction with aluminum siding over it on a steel frame. You have electric stabilization on the front and back. Power for a TV, cable for a TV. Again, the Lippert solid steps. This is gonna have Trailer King tires. Standard leaf sprung suspension, no upgraded equalizer. I definitely do that as one of my first upgrades though, upgrade the suspension. You have twin awnings, which is really nice. You have an awning here, and then you also have an awning off the slide. Standard framed windows. Whenever you wash your RV, be sure you don't spray water into these holes. That's one of the reasons why they frown on, you know, using a pressure sprayer because you can actually get water into your RV and your sidewall. Rear electric stabilization as well. Ladder to get you on top, wired for a Furion backup camera. Four inch tubular bumper. Nice looking spare tire on the bumper. Cable satellite connection. Rack and pinion slides, which is really nice. 50 amp connection for your ACs and all your power needs, of course. You have a vent right here, which you definitely want to make sure you're opening if you're cooking, because if you use your vent fan, it's just going to recirculate it if you don't open that. Outside of your furnace, on-demand water heater. That's where you fill up your fresh water tank. Outside shower, black tank flush, and then the other side of your storage. This is a really cool RV. Man, I wasn't expecting this when I got into this unit. Totally unexpected. Blew me away. Um, very cool to see a mid bunk. Um, but what do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.